all right welcome back so if you're new to this channel guys please consider subscribing to this channel and please like and leave your comments below okay on this video we are going to do static files settings so what are the static files static files are things like the images CSS, JavaScript files, or all, all those stuffs which are related to styling your website. So in Django, we call them static files. So as you remember, the other time, we were we were able to manage to render our page and have this word here. We are able to render this word hello word. But on this video today, our aim we want to add those static files CSS and our end product should be like this we need to have remember this is the HTML page just remember that if you have created your website in HTML you have arranged your files JavaScript files CSS and other files images you have a page like this so our aim is to configure this page inside Django so how are we going to do this so let us get started first of all let us remember our folder on desktop remember we have this we created a project here yeah, this project named my site inside site we had a an app we called it contact so we are going to have we are going to create a static file a static folder here i mean it means it will be inside my my site so it will be inside our project so we can try we can go ahead and create it here but let us go and create it and create it uh, inside the our django folder and see how the arrangement of folders are like so if we open our desktop this is our folder our Django folder remember we are on the desktop and this is our folder we are we have been working since we started this series so this was our project my site here if we open my site you find something like this so here we are going to create another folder and we are going to name it as static okay let's go ahead and create it just as how you create new folders here and name it static okay now we have already named our folder static let's go back to our VS code now okay as you can see now we have this folder Yes, yeah, so we have contact my site and this folder here static. So all our folders, our static folders are going to be installed here. So and how how are we going to do it? Let's go back to our to our template. Remember I have this template and I will leave the link below if you want to download this template. Well, my template is here. This is a template and this is the index.html but what i'm going to copy i'm just going to copy this content these are the static files these ones here i said they are css fonts images and js and this okay so let's go ahead and copy this copy them and let's go and paste them on our static folder inside our django project okay here django inside here let's go ahead and paste them here okay okay good now our our files are inside the static folder now let us go back to vs code and try to configure this static and see how our page is going to look like so before that 
let us go ahead and copy the index.html this one here index.html and let us go let us copy it to our templates remember we created the templates and that template we had it which was written hello world now we are going to replace the hello world with what is inside this template here okay just to copy it here and come and paste it contact templates and replace this yeah go ahead and replace okay good now if we come to our vs code here we can see inside contacts we have templates and the template is index.html if you press this we are going to see this is our this is our layout of our index i mean our template so we are going to configure this here and make it appear as we see on our normal index in on our normal html files now first of all let's go back to our command line and close it first by pressing control c okay then let's go back to our settings.py i mean let's go back to our site my site settings.py okay and if you scroll down here let us go and put some settings here capital files underscore does okay and give it an equal sign this then okay and let's go and let os dot path to join then Many should be based on data. Then start it. Maybe it's more. What I've written here is that we want to specify that our all our static files should be kept on the static folder as I've been showing here. So you just like the static files does equals to os.path.join and the base directory then static. So then after creating these settings let's go to the top of our settings.py here so we need to import os import os then go ahead, ahead and save. save all right guys after saving your files in your settings.py now let us go back to our index.html and try to do some settings okay go back here now at the top of our page here we need to write this okay then load static okay good now on every image and on every css or link file we are going to configure our static files now just write the same
okay then it's static okay then here at the end you put space and this one here <coughs> then and this remember how I did it so you just lay it like this that means that we, if we need to access this image image this image we need to go to the folder name static the folder name static then we go to images then icons that then our particular image okay so we are going to do the same for all these files okay all these files css files I mean in JavaScript files, all of these we are going to put the same syntax here. And I'm going to pause the video, then I'll be back after doing this. Okay, now I'm done configuring my index.html. As you can see, on top of our page we added load static then we go we went ahead and adding this static means we are accessing our static folder then images and the particular image i did it to all my files here at the top and my javascript files now let us go ahead and save this file and see what we can see on our page now okay Control S. Now our file is saved, and let's go back to our server here. Control C to cancel. Then let us run our server again. Okay, looks like it's running without any problem. Let's go to our browser and see what we can see. Okay, remember it was home page then contact here wow perfect this is so good so we are we were able to configure our static files and our page is appearing very nice so we are able to achieve what we wanted to do from the beginning now the next step we are going to try to make this form useful so we are going to input our names there our email and send an email to our specific email address so if you are really interested in this video please consider subscribing liking this video and leave your comment and you guys if you have faced any problem in the way please let your comment down and i will try to check and go every comment to see what was the problem so Thank you so much for watching and I would like to see you on another video.